Yeah, yeah, check one, two, check one, two. Is this mic on? Is this mic on? Hey, listen, man. It's the one and only Trent set of DJ Sense, and you're listening to Cocktails. Dirty Discussions with Kiki and Medina Monroe. Yeah. Today's cocktail is just going to be a glass of white wine. Every now and again, you just need to pour yourself a glass of a nice dry white. I love a Chardonnay. <laughs> what is this one? This is Santorini. It's a Greek wine. It doesn't actually say what kind it was. I got it from this cute little... What's that? With the A at the bottom. What under the year. We can't say it. Aceritica. Aceritica. It's been Anyway, sad. welcome back <laughs> to Cocktails Dirty Discussions, you guys. Hey, y'all. I am feeling very comfy, y'all. I had a day. I just got back from Houston to renew my passport. You be risking it. I be nervous to come back on recording days, because just what if? I'll make it back. I got, <laughs> I got the did, faith in did. Jesus, okay? okay? And then we got the game shipped out, which, by the way, if you and haven't did. ordered yours, I'm curious to know.com, get your game. And if it comes in a very small package and the card deck is kind of snug in there, hey, look, just just cut it open. Yeah. And Some enjoy of those it. bags were a little uh, tighter. Yeah, something. the description ah. didn't fit. It's like I have been wearing a waist trainer. That shit was It's snug. a waist trainer package. So yeah, that but... first order, y'all got some tight bags, but still order your game. I'm curious to know.com. Y'all, we got live shows coming up. Yes, I am excited. So Atlanta is completely sold out. Sold out. It's Ain't gone. no other show, so pick one of the other cities because that's it for Atlanta. But Charlotte, we will be at um, the, the Comedy, Comedy Zone. Zone on June 5th, you guys. Make and, sure you get those tickets now. Yeah, and the link is in the description. And then July 20th, we'll be in New York at Caroline's on Broadway. And then July 28th, we'll be in Philly. I'm at really Helium. excited about Philly because I've never really been to Philly. I've been to the airport, uh -huh. but that's about it. When I was a flight attendant, had a lay over there. Um, I'm excited about Philly. You can give one me a nigga my, with a beard. <laughs> uh, one of my best screw. friends lives in Philly, and so she is so excited. She already been promoting the show. I love it. Uh, Y'all, we got Lauren Knight sitting here, just Man. sitting here like our little sister. She is going to host <laughs> the Atlanta live show. The sold out one. The sold out one. So. And uh, we really excited. Um, Lauren has been to the show before mm -hmm. <laughs> when we were recording at a different studio. It was a you great episode. You were last episode before uh, The COVID. pandemic. Oh, and yeah. It was shut down. It was happening right at that time. And it was raining that day. How did you survive during the pandemic? Were comedians really hit? Um, well, I was unemployed prior to the pandemic, so okay. I was consistent. I didn't really have a transition. <laughs> it was like, oh, cool, all my friends don't have jobs either. Now, now we're all yeah, hanging yeah. out. Yes, yeah, so I was fine. <laughs> the only thing that fucked me up during the pandemic is when I went, two things. A, being around my kids all the day. That was weird. I felt bad for parents. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Ooh. That shit seems stressful. And spouses. Like, I was like, wow, y'all are stressed. Yes. But the flip side of that was the lonely people. I got to the point where I was just talking to my dog, and she was like, What's, why aren't you leaving? Like, when and is you, know, you going out? We damn near turned into a sex dungeon, so we just had oh, a lot yeah. of different things Kiki's going on. Kiki's Corner or something. Y'all have a names sex and dungeon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you know how people be having their lights behind the TV? Yes. It got, we lost the remote, and it got stuck on the red light, so it was looking like that video she showed. Oh. This bitch had a money gun. It was a lot going yeah, on. Was, we, had a, we had a lingerie-themed so birthday party for Drea one night, so okay. everybody wore lingerie. Even the guys, we had bottles coming out. I made out, like mac we and cheese. Club. Yeah, yes. that okay. was what? What was it? That mac and cheese. <laughs> I don't know. Medina was drunk. It I wasn't good? I was drunk and high. We don't know because we didn't eat it. Everybody's <laughs> like, oh, this was, is. No, remember, I ate a bowl. I was like, I'm going to eat this. And, yes. and how was it? <laughs> it was a little too creamy. It wasn't done. Oh, it was wet. That shit was dry. <laughs> how was it wet? And we have conflicting views on the mac, which uh -uh. is a problem. <laughs> I was high. I really don't remember. But hey, Lauren. <laughs> hey, girl. Um, okay. Well, now I know who won't be making the mac and cheese. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's You can make a Caesar, a garden salad, bread. Yeah. You it, guys are not going to put... You made me a salad before. That was great. Was it good? Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's hard to do to cut up vegetables. <laughs> That is very hard. It, so. You gotta get creative with salads. Yeah, so people, find a different all, mix. That's yeah. what people that can't cook say. I'd be like, <laughs> first you gotta find a different mix. I bet you took out the tomatoes. That's the mix. It's the only <laughs> difference is you took tomatoes out. I'm not about to play with you, Lori. <laughs> Y'all, make sure you join our Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash cocktails. We have some really cool content coming out. I hope that I can actually post it because it's, yeah, it's... We gotta uh, check the terms and conditions of the site. Yeah, we do. Um, uh, I did a session with... 
uh, what's his name? Sir Marvelous. Marvelous. You know his name. And we- <laughs> do not do not get in front of this. He showed them the video before we got started. And everyone Whoa! was just like, can we I said, no, nah, that's $15 only. That's $15 only. So, uh, y'all. I'm screaming at the OnlyFans prices. Like, <laughs> respect yourself. Wow. And bitches, stop charging $4.99. Step your cookies up before they crumble, okay? Uh, what song is that from? I should write that as a title. Don't be acting like oh, it's okay, itty yeah. bitty picky. You really like Nicki Minaj. I am a I oh let's 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 two things here. I love she's the best rapper. Now her personal life decisions, I don't agree with. I have mm-hmm. been calling her husband. Sometimes I call the police on him. Just check in on What's Kenneth. You, mean? you just call? Yeah, Kenneth's still free. Mm. Mm. All right, checking in. Just checking in. <laughs> Hoping she has terrible taste in men. Even. I know you want a Philly nigga, but look at Meek. Oh, that just really shut it down. You see what I'm saying? Like, think about that. Yeah. That nigga was eating wet fries on his lap poolside. Like, that's a truly diabolical human being. No. You want to fuck him? No, not Meek. I do have some friends that want to fuck him, though. I don't get it. Yeah. I have a friend that absolutely loves him. And when he made that song 24-7 and said something about how he wants a wife and he already has money saved up for for a wedding, she was like, it's me, it's me. It's not her. He doesn't have money saved up. He just has money. It's not saved up when you just have money all the time. Yeah. Well. mm -mm. A surplus. Sorry, Meek. Uh, Well, shout out to your friend. She can fuck Meek. He's very accessible. And my whole girl fuck Future and... He do not be wearing condoms, so. Who does, though? Well, I, I, I when I was fucking niggas, I, that was something. Um, I was afraid of um, herpes, and then I found out it won't really help. So I was like, well, <laughs> fuck it then. What is we doing this for? YOLO. When's the last time you fucked a nigga? Uh, so people ask me this all the time. Um, I have not fucked a man in long enough to be considered a virgin by the church. So um, the lesbians respect me now when I was first, uh, you know, stepping out with gay girls. They was like, don't you have kids, you fake ass dyke. <laughs> Um, but now they don't even acknowledge my kids, and oh. so I know that I'm truly a lesbian. I'm, okay. Wow. But it's been, it's been, how long have we been together? We together. Years. <laughs> you just woke you up really one day and gay. you were like, I don't like dick no more. Or did you always know you were gay? Okay, were just- so funny, fun fact, this whole lesbian adventure. I, and I think it happens with most people, I didn't wake up and like ever feel like, oh, I'm a lesbian, I would knew for sure. What happened was, I would do little gay shit. But I'm like, it's little cool. Like, like I was drunk. Little gay what's little gay shit? Like it started small. Like oh, I made out with her, but that was just fun, right? I'm not gay. Your pussy didn't get wet. Right. Then it was oh well, I had sex with that girl, but I was drunk. Then it was I keep having sex with girls when I'm drunk. Like real lesbian sex, like you ate pussy, or were you like I'm not eating no pussy. The first couple of times, no, I was an eager beaver. I was like, I want to eat some coochie. I want to know what's going on. And then mm. I did, and I was like, maybe it's not for me. I have a heavy <laughs> tongue. I don't feel like you're enjoying yourself. Uh huh. And you know. So just did practice make perfect. Yeah, it definitely does. Mm-hmm. And your first time looking at pussy, it's a lot of folds and different tastes. I was yeah. really good at it the very first time I, I ate was pussy. Nine. And it was because I always wanted to do it. You know, like when you always wanted to to do something and so you practice. I used to practice How on, did you practice? on the bedpost. I used to practice. Oh pussy. bitch, you was licking the bedpost? <laughs> it was a round little apple shaped bedpost. I would kiss it and just practice licking it. it- and then when I finally was <laughs> faced with a vagina just spread open and juicy in front of my lips. I said, this is the moment you've been waiting for. And it was like I had made it. I was an athlete training for the Olympics, and I made it. Oh, my God. I, I should have been scared. Licking really? a bit. But I was just Scared because like, it's ugly? Well, no, because I was like, shit, this is a lot of pressure. Because the first time I ate pussy, it was in a threesome. So it's two people watching. Oh, that's not fair. Like, and I'm like, you know... I have to perform. Because and then she gets to challenge you after. It. Like, let me show you. Oh, yeah. And you can't be the weakest link in a threesome. I have ruined it's... a threesome because it wasn't going my way. What do you mean? Yeah, I started crying. What? I don't feel like anybody here respects we me. We talk about this all the time. Why the fuck did you start why? crying? And that and is why the worst thing. Respect you. Was it, was, well, first of all, what was the threesome? Male, male, female. Female, female, female. Female, female, male. I have ruined two threesomes, one that was female, female, male, and one that was all women. How you ruin them? Yeah. I didn't ruin them. Maybe people should be having threesomes with partners <laughs> where y'all don't really have the same footing. Like, if you a sneaky, cheating-ass person, we can't have no threesome, because mid threesome, like, you lying-ass bitch. Uh. This is why, so it doesn't, you have to be in a really good place to have threesomes. I personally think threesomes are for single people. Or married people. Well, because I don't, not even dating that people. can get a little. I, I had a threesome with a married couple and they're now divorced because she didn't know he liked black women and he. Oh, he did. Mm. Loved it. Well, my I, couple is still married. Mine too. Beautiful relationship. And then everybody else, I mean, I've been single now. Were all of those people single? I don't know. Not really my business. I did fuck that married girl. Mm hmm. 
but she wasn't married to the guy we were having the threesome with. He was in jail. I, was like, I think it shows. <laughs> <laughs> he was in jail, right. and we and we did it, and like he could listen. Oh, oh, that's nice. That's mm-hmm. nice. So he felt included. So it was almost a force. What did y'all do for the inmates? This bitch had sex for him. That's so nice. <laughs> I didn't know that that's what we were doing. But oh, I was just like, baby, I'm putting it on speaker. Did she recorded it? So that she could play it for him. Oh, later. he wasn't actually on the collect call. Like, nigga, shut up, my girl. Fucking. All right, no. now touch your nipple. Yeah. Is he and touching I it? Like, I mean, they're both fine. I don't really care. Tell me what to do. I'm gonna do it. That's fine. I had a great time. When couples have threesomes like that, and, they, and it falls apart or it gets ruined, I think it shows their communication level. Yeah. It shows like the, if you're in a healthy relationship or not. Yes, yeah. absolutely. One Was person you? wanted this, one didn't. Mm-hmm. Y'all need to communicate. Don't have me up in this bitch Don't acting like me. Yama. Yeah, if y'all got issues, I'm sorry. I want healthy relationships only. I've definitely had a threesome turn on me, too. That's the thing. Like, And when you're the third party in the couple fighting during a threesome, it's so awkward because, like, so do I keep fucking? Because I don't want to be sucking dick, and now you mad at me. (laughs) I had a bitch. I told this story a very long time ago, but I was having a threesome with, uh, uh, supposed to have a threesome with a friend of mine and his girl, and she, he said she was upstairs taking a nap, but she said it was fine for us to get started. Niggas be lying, and I don't know why I even believed him. This bitch came down swinging, and she was trying to get me. Mm-hmm. And he was trying to She's get- shocked by that. <laughs> she was trying to get me. Yes, girl. You know the girls never go after You're the fucking in her nigga in her well, living room. So, and exactly. I'm like on top of him. We're like grinding and slow kissing, and the music was on. She came down there. And you was kissing And him. she was Jamaican, and she was going to beat my ass. And I was terrified. I had n- I was trying to gather my things and run out. And I was like, so he was like, Medina, don't even try to talk to her go i got it you was trying to talk to her i was just like what, what's going on he said that this was okay and i will Obviously never ever do that again without speaking to the woman first yeah. my first threesome and this is a shame i had wanted to have a threesome it was so bad but i was still in this like when you're like sh- weird phase about my sexuality I'm like are you a lesbian what's going on so i had a threesome with a dude i met off craigslist now i have <laughs> I've, I've never. I, I'm, I'm I had a girl on Craigslist once. I ate her pussy. You did tell me about that. That's some thought dangerous was, shit. I, thought I was gonna get killed. I'm I, not gonna lie. I was checking the closets. So my dumb ass, he's telling. He horny. told me that him and his his girlfriend, like, let's have this threesome. So I'm like, all right, bet. We get to this hotel. Um, and he was also gonna give me money to do it. This is why sex work's not for everybody, ladies. This is a fail. So I didn't collect the money up front because I wasn't even worried about the money. <laughs> you didn't collect the money up front. Your own pussy. Yes. So we have said threesome. He go to the car to get the money. 15 minutes pass. 20 minutes pass. So me and the girl start talking. And I asked her, like, it's your boyfriend. She's like, I thought he was your boyfriend. I met him on Craigslist. She was a real, like, OG ho. Like, she was a professional. So she was like, so he didn't pay you either? Bitch, I had to call my dad to come. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Were you far? My dad is coming to pick me up from an abortion clinic. And my dad's coming to pick me up from this. Well, the abortion clinic was bad because that nigga left me. Like, when I sat down and Mm -hmm. I was checked in, he left. This is the dead nigga, RIP to the king. But you left me at the abortion clinic. Um, But yeah, he might came out there in my dress and my big, big chunky heels (laughs) coming out this hotel. My dad, he didn't say much, you know? He just looked out the window real sad. And we didn't talk on the way What home. did you say on the call? Were you like... I need you to come get me. I can't explain. A lot's going on. I was going to walk back. But then How I started... How far were you? How short was the dress? I'm not going to hold y'all. We weren't that far away, which is another mistake. I could have been murdered. Um, <laughs> we were like literally close to my house, um, but not close enough to walk, like maybe a couple exits. And yeah, we, he just... You ever known you broke your daddy's spirit? Yes. Like, you yes. just saw it in his face. Like, he was when like, When I was in high school, I got caught in the movie theaters sucking a penis. I told this story again. Oh, I was yeah. my high school boyfriend at the time, and I wrote it up. Remember people used to email chain letters, and it was fun? Yeah. Me and my friends do it, and I was typing up the email, telling her about, I was like, ooh, like, and I licked his dick. It wasn't even, like, a full suck. And I was under his jacket, and I was really explaining the details. And the computer died. It was a actual computer like a gateway computer the big chunky ones and it died in the middle of the email and i thought it would just delete it well when it came back on my mom read it and showed it to my dad i was like why, you gotta show why daddy? did you have to do that he thinks i'm his angel why would you do that <laughs> that spirit was broken like he he was just like 
It was never the same after that. Yeah, my dad listened to this show, so there's that. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, why would you do that? Why are you on here minding my business? <laughs> I was talking about sucking dick. I was talking about his family. Right. I was talking about a lot of shit. That he was dad. talking about his family. Your family? Well, yeah, but. <laughs> y'all. His family. I love Lauren. We haven't even got to the outline Nothing. yet. We're going to move on to weird sex, and when we come back, we're going to finish catching up with Lauren. You said a man is not a necessity, a man is a luxury, like dessert. <laughs> yeah. A man is absolutely not a necessity. Oh, did you mean that to sound mean and bitter? Oh, not at all. I adore dessert. I love men. I think men are the coolest. But you don't really need them to live. All right, you guys. This week's Weird Sex. Let me pull out my notes. Um, I just titled it Cokehead Granny Fucker mm. because that's what he was doing. So this is a story what? not in Florida. It's not even in America. We're going over across the pond oh to the UK. International Cokehead. Mm-hmm. We've got international news this week. <coughs> that's that good coke. All right. So um, according to several reports, a UK man has landed himself a spot in the mental facility mm. for life. Oh. After committing a terrible crime. What is the crime, you ask? Well, authorities say Donovan Miller, 31, choked his grandmother, Miss Phyllis Grant, before beating her over the head with a vase. Miss Phyllis. As if that wasn't enough, Donovan didn't stop there. He reportedly told authorities that he um, that he killed the woman the night before and confessed that he raped her. As well, for what it's worth. Miss Phyllis? Yes, he raped his, his grandma. His grandmother. The, the day before and the day the police came. She was already dead. He killed her <clears> and then <throat> raped her dead body. Um, he admitted to having a cocaine problem. Um, but this was giving crack. This is giving PCP angel dust. Yeah, so I don't know what else. I don't know what all was in there. But they said that uh, the medical professional said he suffer- suffered from an abnormality of the mind and he uh, has schizophrenia, so they're going to put him in the mental hospital instead of just the regular prison. But I'm just like... And it really sucks because I have a cousin who is schizophrenic. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Love him to death. Everyone does. But when, like, grown men can overpower, like, a, someone like a granny or, or they have mental illness like that, he had he used to live with my grandma and everybody was like... No. you got Like, he had one little moment and it was like, you got to go because you don't know what they're going to do. So, like, nah, you got to go, bro. I don't know where you're going. Like, if you don't want to go to the facility, but you're not about to be with Granny. You accidentally kill her one day. No. Yeah. Also, being a woman, look at how much you have to protect your pussy. Even after you die, people will still try to fuck. Like, god damn, it's man. It's a lot. We're like, what? Why? Still, <laughs> I still got to protect this pussy. I can't even rest in peace. I can't even rest in peace. After you beat me. Choked me, killed me. No, he wasn't paying no bills. So you on top of that, all his money was going to the drugs, and he was probably robbing Miss Phyllis, like in her little purse. You know, all grannies mm-hmm. have those little loose purses, or in her stash. What if she stash. was his plug, his drug plug? Yeah. Not now Ms. that would Phyllis. be a wild twist. Now, Were they come black on. people? Now this no. isn't giving African American. If she said yes, yeah. it was black. <laughs> That was us? Oh, no. We don't be fucking family. You see porn. That's white people culture. He has mental illness. This is is, is him, and this is Miss Phyllis. It was two niggas, man. That is really... Rest in peace, Miss Phyllis. Rest in peace, Miss Phyllis. My uncle is schizophrenic, and um, he's in the Philippines now, so shout out to him. He... I went. I escaped the mental facility. Well, escaped because I don't think he was supposed you to escaped? leave. You escaped. No, he escaped. Oh, and then he went to the Philippines. He went to the Philippines, and we didn't hear from him until we found out he married this Filipino woman. Shout out to her. She's now my aunt. Is she okay? She's thinking no, she's not okay. She thought she was about to get a green card and come back. They still in the Philippines. <laughs> she's I know like, she's pissed. She's fucking pissed. So now you got this crazy nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are still and you there. still at home? Look at that. I've devil. seen how things go sometimes over there on 90 Day Fiance. Y'all know I love that show. Oh, I love it if so much. If someone wanted to pay y'all to marry them to get a green card, would you do it? Yes. I would prefer not to answer so I don't get incriminated later. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Lauren's like, yes. Immediately, yes. Anybody watching this internationally, <laughs> if you're trying to move. we do have international people we living. Do. I love looking at the charts and seeing all the countries. Africa. There's a lot of African countries. Hey, Africans be trying to marry and move. Come on. Have you ever gone live and then you let somebody join and they're in like a whole like hut or something no. I have there was an uh-huh. Indian man that always joins my lives and I'd be like where the fuck are you at and he was like I'm in India but he I couldn't understand what he was saying but he was uh. like in India India there was also an African man that joined it, looked, it sounded like he was in the jungle and I was like wow I, <laughs> I'm Medina I am serious <laughs> somebody is, is drafting up the out there? he had something it was like
like his it, it was just like he was really in the lands of Africa. It was like the uh, lands. <laughs> The lands. He was on the Serengeti. I was like, wow, you, and how you know about me? Hey, come on, that pussy reached in distance. Right? Now. I was like, nigga, ow! Um, but, so, you were talking about being a lesbian earlier, and mm-hmm. I just wanted to say, like, I kissed a lesbian woman last night. I oh went out God. with a friend. I always kiss bitches, but this was like a butch bitch. And oh, how did you like I it? I fucking loved it. I fucking loved it. Yeah. Like, I didn't even know. We we let my friend had a, a little friend's appreciation party. It was beautiful. After we were all good and drunk, for some reason, we wanted to go to Kebab Land and get even drunker. Why do bitches do that? Go home. Because you already up. Why would I go like, home? And smoke yeah, you up. another hookah. This was like the third hookah of the night. Well, she's like, that's it? Only three? <laughs> Let's get a fourth one. That sounds like Sunday. <laughs> Sunday fun day in Houston. That's what I was doing. I mean, this was a Monday fun day. What are we doing? Same. We love Having Mondays. a good time. But her cousin was real fun. I mean, like, you know how sometimes you see lesbian women that are, like, like dudes, but they're fine? Like, you're even, like, wow. Like, you are a fine I like the girly that group of, of, uh, What are they called? That particular pack of dykes. The studs? She's a stu- But she was fine. She wasn't looking like Manny Fresh. doesn't mean unattractive. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a miscommunication about what Probably stud so. means. Also, white women can't be studs. Those are dykes. I'm. Is this a separation? I. I. The words. The words. Um. So you was dealing with a mask, girl. See, I like my bitches looking like they just played a basketball game. I. Um. Oh. Tamimi's ex, mm-hmm. Ty. Uh huh. Now we're talking. Okay. Except oh. I don't like when my mask girls want to go ahead and press their hair out and then put on. Like I fucking hate ponytail lesbians and. <laughs> Not as people. You just not about to eat my pussy as a grown ass nigga bitch with no ponytail. Like I re- and I don't have what? a ponytail. Maybe it's coming because I'm bald. Like, like an Ariana Grande ponytail, or like they just slick their hair back. They and- be pressing their little skinny ass nimble hairs out and be like, I'm gonna be a girl today, and I I just. I just can't take it. I, just, I like it when they're girly. I want them to be girly like me. I like I, it I either do- way. Like this 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 guy girl was different. Like she had dreads. And oh, that's a good one. She Ooh. was just she. I'm, when I say she was fine, she wasn't fine like how I look when I call a woman fine. She was like nigga fine. Yeah, like, they be. She nigga smelled fine. good. She wouldn't let me pay for anything. I was mm. like, I'm about to have to have that conversation with my parents. Like, hey, I'm a lesbian <laughs> now. And then she was walking me to my car because I had valeted, and I was like, okay, I'm leaving now. The other people had left. She walked me to my car, and there was this weird moment where I was like, are we about to kiss? She dipped her head in the car, and we were kissing. I mean, to the point where I was like grabbing the back of her neck and trying to pull her in the car. I was like, and I know you were probably way more aggressive than that because you already said you were drunk. And, and you know, I love putting my thumb in a bitch. I put my thumb in her mouth. She was sticking, sucking on my finger. Did it she was come just, home with you? She didn't. But oh, like, if my apartment would have been clean, I probably would have let her come over. But I had mm. a lot of dishes in the You ever be thinking about that? Like, you can't come over to my place. There's dishes yeah, in the sink. I left her in a mess. I'm trying to do better. I do right. Because I, I would like to do I some house shit. Place, so I've never. Okay. Wow. Yeah. My mama keep the house clean. So. You can come <laughs> <if you ever laughs> <eat, laughs> anytime. That's your. That's, that's lucky. Like, well, you don't need to use my place. You could use it. I, I'm, girl, listen. My parents are like, you can move out. No, I have in home nannies. <laughs> if I move out, I will have to watch my kids by myself. Is that frightening? Yeah, for the kids too. I don't cook every day. I'm not one of those traditional women. Mm-hmm. So, so how the babies eat? My mama cook every day. Like, if I'm not going to cook, she'll be like, well, I'm going to just make a Salisbury steak. It's 6 p.m. <laughs> and my kids is like, oh, thank God. Grandma's here. So if she ever dies, we are fucked, you know, because Stop it. mommy it is out. struggling with just the basics. Ooh, just well, the basics. I just had to share that lesbian story um, since we do have a real live in-house yes. lesbian today. So you had, okay, so I used to be like you. Were like, mm-hmm. I only like my bitches girly. Mm-hmm. If I'm dealing with a woman, I want to be feminine because I had never experienced the beauty and nuances of like just women in general. That's what okay. I'm. Just, I'm a lesbian. I'm not just like I don't like just pretty bitches with butts. Even though I do like pretty bitches with butts. <laughs> Me um, too. <laughs> so my first dealings with more masculine women, which is how I got strapped down. Um, and let me tell you something. When I got strapped the first time, the first real good time, that's when I was like, dick is dead. Mm. Real dick is done. Oh, this does that like that. <laughs> See, and that's how I know I'm not a real lesbian. Like, I'll fuck with a bitch and fuck a bitch, and you can use a strap on, but that's when I, when I had a strap on used on me, that's when I was like, I want some real See, dick. See, the, fir- the first time I had a strap on used on me, I was like, this is whack. The second time, that bitch became one with that strap on. Did she wear it all day? I, I hope so. I, it gave. It gave wear it all day. Because I know some of the girls will that wear it all interesting. day. interesting. When I stepped into my strap on for the first time with my girlfriend, I had not, um, she thought that I had did it before because I told her that. And I had... <laughs> I lied. That's why she thought that. But 
I had once, but it was with my gay homeboy because he was like, if you're going to be fucking bitches, I'm trying to get some dick so I can help you learn. Uh-huh. And fucking a booty hole is not the same. He was just being a little, uh, a little cock goblin. So I didn't have, <laughs> I didn't have the experience. So I had took a beam and I was in the bathroom putting What's a dick a bean? on. What's a bean? Ecstasy. Oh, okay. Okay. Allegedly, I took it and I had, um, <laughs> I was in the bathroom putting the dick on, looking at myself. First uh-huh. of all, were you jiggling it around? I was I was very serious about my craft. I was like, this bitch thinks you've done this before. So that's why I couldn't put it on in front of her because I was like, trying you know to figure out where class go. <laughs> then I was like, the way that the strap lifts your ass. Your I was like, booty. my booty looks great. <laughs> so I got caught up in that. But then I came back into the room and I was like, I'm about to fuck this girl. The dick was an extension of me. I'm a dancer. Okay. So I was hip swaying, sashaying to the beat. It was amazing. And I was like, damn, I like this side. Nobody asked me this. This was not a question. I just feel like <laughs> man, this is just. That's just okay. I wanted y'all to know. Um, <laughs> but then I was like, okay, I enjoy this as well. Then I started meeting more masculine. Like, my girlfriend is a STEM. She doesn't like labels because she's a STEM. STEMs hate labels. But um, I feel like you told us what a STEM was one time. It's, it's a stud it's, that wears makeup. She would be so upset. <laughs> <laughs> she would be so mad. I ain't no motherfucking stud. <laughs> would be so mad. <laughs> Stems are lesbians that um, they aren't really, you don't ever really catch them in makeup or no shit like that. They're really, they're tomboys, uh-huh. but they also will still wear a crop top and a bikini. Like, And they got nice bodies probably. Yeah, no, she's thick as hell. And like, mm-hmm. niggas, oh, she got a wagon. I'd be like, I am getting upset. Stop looking at her like that. You know how niggas try to flirt my girlfriend? No shit. They really come up to her and be like, oh, you saw them new Yeezys? You know mm-hmm. this bitch saw the new Yeezys. <laughs> But that's how you flirt with them. Talk to them about shoes and basketball mm. stats. That's why do we be fighting stat? each other though? Because we have no culture. <laughs> the gay boys got the pride. They got the balls. They got to Vogue. They got everything. And what did lesbians get? Street basketball <laughs> and basketball <laughs> athleticism. We're playing basketball all around the world. <laughs> We didn't get shit. Like, lesbians, I'm like, we don't have, why is niggas got drag? That's what so fun. What do y'all want? I want something fun. We got Sweet Heat, which is dope. What's that? Mm-hmm. It's like the you Why I know? Y'all. Why don't I know? <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about Sweet Heat. Kiki was like, it's in my eyes, right? Screaming, yeah. yeah. No, no, right. You I'm know a, where it's at. Uh, yeah. Y'all need um, to do a cocktails like a, and Sweet Heat. That would probably be amazing. Bitch, I would be walking around slanging a, you can meet all different kinds. On, but I wouldn't use it. I'd be like, I'm not using this. You I just wouldn't even have to bring it. It's Bitches not a have sex so conference. Many dicks. Oh, so what is it? Like, <laughs> it's, it's, like, like, it's not a sex conference. I mean, not like where we're going to be in a dungeon. I'm imagining it's like Why do you mix. always go to dungeons, though? Why is you always... Because we were talking about it earlier, but she's talking about walking around slinging her dick. I'm imagining it. We're going to be on the beach. But yeah, Miami, parties. Parties it'd be rash in Miami. Niggas be walking around butt booty hole naked on the streets. That is not what... That is not what sweet heat is. Okay. Well, what is sweet heat? <laughs> sweet heat is. It where sounds le- like a flavor of chicken wings. It's it is. Le- it, that, now <laughs> that is the, one of the most delicious. I will say, a spicy and a sweet, they go yeah, together. They do. they do a nice little crunch. But it's where the lesbians get together in Miami, and they um, bump coochies, and but the lesbians will bring their girlfriends and like wow. just but celebrate being um, lesbians. Okay, so it's like a beautiful thing. It's not a it's freaky like thing. Pride. No, okay. it's, yeah, it's pride. For the girls. It's parties and shit. It's just for the girls. Okay. Yeah, and I want to go to um, Hedonism as well. Is that the one in Jamaica? We were just <gasps> talking about that. that. Do you want to go when we go? Yeah, but, bitch, we trying to see if we can host. I want yeah. to go. That I would be go amazing. Too. Once I heard new so and side, um, you know what? Are you going to come I feel like you have to bring your girl. I, yeah, I don't even know if I'm allowed to not bring her. Okay. When I was dating a well, nigga. Well, last time y'all were halfway broken up. Yeah, I was reading about Lesbians are always halfway broken up. Okay, thank you. When you understand that balance, it's the yin and the yang of being a lesbian. Um, mm. The thing about it is you're never happy and you're never sad. <laughs> <laughs> you just exist in this place of happiness and misery. Okay. <laughs> I love but it. But you come up regularly enough where... Um, it's okay. Even though lesbians don't have sex. Well, I don't know about the rest of them. I don't have sex as often as I used to with dudes. Really? Yeah. I re- like, I've, which is, and I, I'm not missing it. I'm like, the snuggling and companionship is satisfying enough. I think the niggas didn't have enough convo. So I'm like, all right, pull your dick out. Let's figure something out. <laughs> I love snuggling. I do I too. If, if you can't be a good cuddler, it's not going to work. Yeah. And yeah. it's crazy because it really is an art to it. And sometimes you don't fit under everybody's body the same way. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's just y'all both feel uncomfortable. It's, and it's like, yeah. okay, I'm going to go If you don't know home. how to contort yourself mm-hmm. to fit. And I'm a psychopath about my snuggling. Like, when you're asleep, I'm going to put my neck where your neck is and croon it. And I'm going to match your breaths. 
<laughs> and then in my mind, I'm like, we're breathing the same. We are the same. Do you feel how much I love you while you're sleeping? I want to get all up into each crevice. Like, and yeah. I want my, I always have to push my leg in between your leg. Even yes. if it's just an ankle. I, I need need to be twisted up. Like, and I yeah. like my, our toes to do this. <laughs> yeah. Let's well, put our toes in between toes. each other. Oh, so now you're too good for that. I'm not too good for it, but they feet be a little bigger than mine. It don't really work well, out. Especially too well. if he's good and he's big I tall. Got, he's big African feet. You <laughs> <laughs> trying to well hold your foot still, and I'll just put my toes between your toes. Just hold still. You had to, you ever had to fart while you were snuggling? Yeah, and it comes out like a little clap because you're so close to them. Man, one time Drea told me all you have to do is lift your butt cheek up, right, and it'll come out silently. Like little, that's a thing. It bitch did not. Had. It was like. Pfft. Well, it did make a little noise, kind of like. Pfft. Like a I, double. <laughs> but just tell him it's a queef because like now they poop. turned on. He like, was Until he gets a whiff of funk. Yeah, because I was like, the silent ones really be stinking to me. I don't know. But See. I just kept the covers down. He was asleep. He didn't say anything. I mean, bitches got a fart too. But we're we talking do. about niggas who pee on themselves a little bit when they go to the bathroom. Like, <laughs> right. y'all know when they shake and put their dick back, they are peeing on themselves a little bit. That is actually So really niggas nasty. is walking around covered in urine. You think they care about a fart sound? Niggas like piss. We should make That's a little true. penis patch. They should I, wipe the top. That's yeah, pride there's, there's keeping them. Toilet tissue right there. Just, just use that. But yeah. it's the male ego over thousands of centuries, they refuse to just pat it off. Because that's what bitches do. Damn. Okay. And I just be sucking these dicks. Sucking these <laughs> wet, pissy dicks. <laughs> That's why I had to free myself, sisters. I didn't come here to preach the word of the lesbian church, but here I am. Oh, no. Are you tired of niggas peeing all in your mouth? Yeah. Oh my God. Have you ever I had somebody am. get in the bed with you? This dude, he got in the bed, he was butt naked, and he got up. And I guess he had gripped the sheets with his butt, <laughs> but he left a, a skid he mark. He besmirched. That's now my that daughter. is uh-uh. Uh-uh. nasty. I was like, oh, oh, oh. It's probably so much. Booty back there. hole. See, Ugh. with men, the problem is they don't pay attention to detail. And detail in every aspect. Like, let's say I did have a ooey gooey dookie, right? Oh my God, disgusting. <laughs> Even if it, y'all ooey, know those ooey gooey ooey, dookie. ooey is just, you don't get to say that. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. You know when it's an yeah. ooey gooey one. Let's say you did it in the morning. And it's like, you still knew that today you had one of those ooey gooey. You're like, when is the wiping going to stop? When is the wiping going to stop? I hate that. I, 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 I just take like, a bath. Toilet paper is expensive. Like, when is it going to stop? <laughs> yeah. You're now using a uh, wet wipe. Then you got to go back with a regular. And then you just got to make sure. Is the toilet going to be stopped up? Is it going to be stopped and up? And at some point, you're like, did I shit on myself? Did, is it? Yeah. Why am I good? When you have had that in the day, like, if so, let's say sex does pop up later on in the day, I still go into the bathroom and just get a little wet wipe and just make sure I got it all. Because what if you didn't? That would yeah. be the most embarrassing thing to get dookie. I did get dookie on Tahoe sheets, but that was not my fault. That was anal. And with anal, well, that's a different situation. Yeah, that's not just you go to you the grip the, that's I like to keep the wipes on To be fair, me. when I was dating a man, and I didn't respect him at all. Um, bitch and you probably nigga. handled it so well. Niggas don't handle shit like that well. They're probably like, bitch, you got dookie on my sheet. You I didn't want didn't? to, but I didn't want to oh, I even. We were to. Oh, no, this is a different. This is my doo-doo. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was hungover. I'm having hungover poops. I'm like, I don't want to be involved in any sexual activity. Obviously, he doesn't care about consent. And, um... He's still trying to rub on me and things, so he tries to make a video of my butt. Now, I've never been so humbled in my life. And some of y'all are prideful, so you're not going to talk about your lows. But I I can talk about my lows um, because I think he's already tweeted about it. But um, <laughs> See? Niggas handle it so <laughs> He deleted the video immediately. But we was both like, we, I need a bath. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never want to take a booty hole in and be like, oh my God. Was he having the camera in your booty hole? He, it was. It was. He had the flash on, and it Ooh, picked. You yeah. had a little dookie crust or like a cream. It was. Sauce. It was. It was uh, ooey gooey. Is the is that, is, <laughs> ooey gooey dookie? And now I'm upset because now you're gonna embarrass me. Yeah, I, I told you home. I didn't want to do nothing. And at this point, I don't even want to get a bath at your place because I feel like now you're looking like, did you? Are oh, now you, you got to eat let it. Me check it. Yeah, let me check it. You know, that's what I got to do with my nephew when he takes a poop. Now he can wipe his own butt now, but I got to go back behind you him. You got to go like, and check. Because yeah. yeah. they don't spread their butt. They just they, like, Boop, I'm yeah. dying on you. And because niggas tell don't them do don't it. spread your butt, it's gay. And the, mm-hmm. <laughs> They Yo, do. They do. They I, do. Listen, yeah, I love gay kids. niggas. I yes. hate straight gay Don't niggas. Don't wipe your butt all the way because it's gay. Straight gay niggas are the worst. That's the they kind are. of shit they be saying. They are so married to like. You can't do anything to your butt because now all of a sudden it, it makes they you hold gay. Ma- wipe it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to just under. Somebody make it make They sense. hold masculinity in their booty hole. 
Like, even and, and penetration. That's how men define themselves as being masculine. It's like, I do the poking, and I and nobody pokes me. <laughs> there was a recent dude that I was <laughs> having sex with. It ended very quickly. Not the sex, but, like, the, just situation. the situation. And I was sucking his dick, and I was trying to see how nasty he was. And he was on his knees on the bed, and I was on my knees on the bed. But he was, like, standing up on his knees, and I was, like, bent down sucking his dick in the way that it is. Like, he was like this, and I was like... So you just went under? I, I was sucking his dick and I kept, you know, I was like massaging his balls and I kept like dabbling with his booty hole. You know, some niggas start leaning it up. Like, okay. Yeah, I'm they like, let you know. It's okay. He grabbed my wrist like Thank this. You. And he said, hey, stop. <laughs> I felt like it was a stranger danger technique. I was so hey, stop. Yeah, because you're trying to sneakily coy your finger backwards. Yeah, I was like, and That's... he in mid swipe, like swipe your fingers like this. He grabbed my wrist and he said, hey, stop. And I was like. Because he was making him think about stuff. I was like, okay. <laughs> you I was like slobber on my because I was getting real slobber. I was like, yeah, I'm about to get in. It. He was like, yeah, stop, or you're gonna be going home. And I was like, I'm okay. sorry that happened to you. Yeah, I felt like a child. He was kind of hood, huh? He wasn't. Yeah, you know what? Because he used to he used to rob niggas. Remember, I told you he told me that that was the most yeah. adventurous thing he'd done. He was yeah, like, I guess when I was robbing. That's the most adventurous thing you said. <laughs> Stealing cars in New Jersey. I'm taking yeah. niggas shit. Yeah, he them type of niggas don't like their booty hole play with, but they like it the most. He they didn't do. like They're He grabbed me like by it. my wrist. They're mm -hmm. scared to like it because then they got to go back and tell their niggas, which they don't have to do. You don't. But they just insist on doing it. They're like, niggas. Nobody has to know. Nobody. I've been touched in my booty hole and I liked it. I love mm -hmm. a good booty hole swiping a lick. I love like. having a group conversation when you're like with guys and girls and you done ate somebody's ass at the table before <laughs> and they like to be in front of their friends acting like they don't like that shit. Yeah. And, and you be sitting niggas. there like... When I was doing it, you was raising that booty up talking about, you know what I like. And you better yeah. be glad I have some class about myself because I would put your ass on blast, but I'm I wouldn't not. even say class. I just wanted to fuck again. So, so y'all just eating boy butts? I do. Well, I <laughs> learned it from Kiki. I never <laughs> I learned to it do from it. Kiki. <laughs> Whatever, yeah, I do it. Now they're clean. These yeah. boys are wiping their ass. They don't, okay. they're not holding the masculinity right there. They let me get in there. Okay. You know? And um, I appreciate how clean they are. There was a bad time, though. The first time I ever tried to do it, I almost was scared to ever try it again because I got back there and it smelled like a rhinoceros. And I had to get up. <laughs> Yuck. I and go. And that was disgusting. Like, you were wrong. And he asked for it. I didn't even trick him. So it's like, nigga, you know you haven't been wiping your ass. So... Men, their asshole area is so hairy. That's what fucks me up mentally. They're not also hairy. Some some men get waxed or they shave. Mm -hmm. Your boyfriends are bisexual. Manscaped. <laughs> Has anybody told you? No. You and well, this... I think we all kind of are a little bit. So yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> Makes sense. That's why the butch lesbian won't really be a big jump for you to be like dealing with a nigga who booty is waxed. No, the emotions is where it'll probably end things. No, for it'll me. be more intense. That's why That's I the probably problem. Yeah, be like, hey, look, we're not going to be in here fighting each other. But you will. No. My bitch had me roll down the windows on the highway. Not had me. She wasn't there. I was so upset. I rolled down the windows on the highway, stepping on the gas, scream crying out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Devastation. I don't want that. I don't need I don't that kind of love. I, I, don't, I don't need mind. that this, kind of love. This, this new woman, I don't mind kissing her when I'm drunk. I'm not, I'm not I can't go any further because I'm not going to be... I can tell she would have me hung up. And like I said, sitting my family down and being like, hey, you guys, I am marrying. No, nah, bitches will have Shalanda. you like doing crazy <laughs> shit. Like, I'm not eating for four days because this bitch is upset with me and I've lost my appetite. I wish I could I want somebody to love me that hard, but I don't want to love that hard. I never could love that hard when I was dating dudes. I thought I was a sociopath and mm -hmm. I was just gay. Wow. I was like, oh, that's why you be cheating on all these niggas and doing them haphazardly, fucking their friends, lying to them. <laughs> That's why you're doing all this. Because you don't like them. Did you learn that in therapy? No, I learned it uh, fucking niggas. Uh, <laughs> which is a therapy of uh, sorts. It's something. Yeah. Oh, like I, shock therapy. Women, I was like, oh, I cannot maneuver the same. I wouldn't even want to. I would. I was when we first started dating, I was telling people when they would try to come like talk to me, like, you need to you need to go through her. What kind of pussy ass weird shit is that? It's weird. Speaking about relationships and stuff like that and dating, I wanted to know because I've had this con I've whenever people break up or someone stops talking to them, I always you hear two sides. Either someone's like, I don't know what happened, he just ghosted me, or, you know, he actually said what it was yeah. and y'all ended things in an adult way. I wanna know <clears throat> from the boat from all of us, how do you want to be broken up with <clears throat> like do you have an ideal way of breaking up do you actually want to know why someone doesn't want to deal with I you I want you to die that's what I was gonna say just die what <laughs> y'all what I, I yes. definitely don't want you calling me giving me feedback about what I did wrong bitch what the and fuck I don't want you to ignore me you gotta die just die till death do us part 
I choose well, you're death. not married. It doesn't matter. So what? That rule doesn't apply. Well, it, it does. does. Y'all saying vows to niggas when you dating? No, it's not no, about what was said. It's it's, it's about my feelings. When I was looking at you in your eyes, when I was doing that thing you like, you knew this is forever. For life. Okay? For like don't lifers. and you can't fuck me like this and think I'm just gonna go away. And then you I told you bills. I was a loyal person. I told you, you know, I really don't like the dating process. I don't like to get to know you. So when I find somebody, I really like to lock it in. That meant for life. <laughs> the fuck? I mean, think about it. Even with my fuck buddies, I keep them around. You do. You are she like. Says, I don't like getting to know people. So I don't. You're a long-termer. She's exa- I am. You you're know, a, a long-termer with uh, still some commitment issues. But you need to be committed. Let me have those issues. Just stay here. So, death. But if we can't choose death... <laughs> you can't, guys. Unfortunately. <laughs> uh, go ahead and tell me. You do want to know. I want to know. Because I've had it both ways. I don't want to spend all that time... I'm an overthinker, too. Yeah. I don't want to spend all that time thinking about what I did wrong. I need the, the criticism. It's going to hurt my feelings either way, but I want to improve. Mm-hmm. Or maybe I can just have extra things to say fuck you about. I have no desire to get better. So oh. I would... <laughs> Lauren says and she says it with a straight face. I'm, yeah, I think I'm she's serious. serious. Um, I have no desire to grow. So I don't want you to tell me because if you tell me that I'm going to have a retort. Now we've spent four days looking for closure because I have feedback for your feedback. <laughs> so for the both of us, just don't talk to me. And I don't like being ignored. So ignore me threatening about how I'm really about to blow my shit. Don't ignore me. That's my biggest pet peeve. Get through that. Go get over that hill. Mm-hmm. And then I won't care anymore. So I think it's best. I would rather get ghosted. And then I can make up whatever I want from there to make myself a better. He ghosted me because he couldn't afford me. <laughs> okay. You did everything oh, right. Now, if you're telling me you, you're in you're control bossy of the storyline. Exactly. I feel you. Now, if you, you come can tell still me. still tell whatever story you want to tell. Oh, yeah. I'm live, regardless. But, like, <laughs> if you come to me, like, on some real shit, like, you have issues with your parents. Mm-hmm. And that's a fact. Whoa. I'm sorry, <laughs> Dr. Dr. Yanala. Back the fuck up. <laughs> Did somebody ask? Do you have a degree? <laughs> like no, 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 no. I don't like that. So get get to get to get to get like <laughs> get to really. Get. I prefer to break up while we're still together over the course of months. Oh, how like many? Like maybe like eight, but we're still together. But we just start the better to see part other of the people. year. It's really interesting because I like to say that I would like to know what went wrong but uh-huh. I'm actually thinking that ghost I actually would like you to just go away and Why? not tell me because this nigga sent me a text message she last night I, was the text. What, I knew you was getting your files <laughs> and together. the way she tapped it this nigga and he said um, I asked him I said why don't you like me I get, remember I was drunk but he sent back, he said, I never said I don't like you. I invited you to my party. I must like you, but you do move very inconsistent, and I'm very consistent with you. And I just didn't say anything back, because I didn't like how grown How inconsistent of you to not reply. I, and, I, and I was just like... And, right. And I don't I actually... And then it was a drunk text. I would just like it to just sizzle out. Like... <laughs> I didn't like that that because he was it was he was true it was real that was the honest it was that was a fact she's still struggling like, <laughs> yeah. I didn't he was he's but I'm not because I struggle with consistency and I don't like that feeling because it's like if somebody is really telling you about yourself it don't feel good even if they're right yeah it doesn't feel good <laughs> exactly. at all but it also doesn't feel good when they ignore you that's worse to me I hate being I do too, but... Well, ignored and ghosted is different. If you, yeah. like... If we're dating and you just don't be responding, to it, okay, that's ignoring. But if you just go away, it's not really ignoring anymore. You're just gone. Why is that not ignoring if I they're guess not... He said, what is the difference? <laughs> He's <laughs> gone. He disappeared. Because like, it is ignoring. I can feel the ghosting season when it's approaching. So I'm not it's really spring even... spring and summer. I'm not even hitting you up no more. Like, I'm gonna send one text and then if I don't hear back from you, I know I've been ghosted. I don't need to keep, like, yeah. sending you messages. To like, me, that's still you? ignoring whether happen? it was one message <laughs> or ten. Like, one one message you so they're sending him. Okay. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> they said, why is that not ignoring? <laughs> Did he reply to you in a different? He didn't reply. <laughs> He's gone. I, I'm confused. He left. He turned into Casper. Poof. Okay. Gone. I also <sighs> wanted to ask you guys, what are some things that are okay to use men for? Money. Their um. Anything. <laughs> it's like we shared Insurance. the outline with her. She was ready to answer. Insurance. What? Their male privilege. Oh, security. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Security is a big security one. Security because. Um, like actual physical security, like go beat that nigga. Yeah, because mm-hmm. sometimes I be drunk talking shit, and then niggas be like, "I hit you," and I be like, "And yeah, now you step in." Mm-mm. Um, what else? Do I, sex. Oh yeah, I, guess. I be trying to use niggas for. Oh no, I'd be working. Oh, furniture building. A 
hey man, because I got a dresser in, <laughs> in the lobby right now. We were need, just talking about I that. I need somebody to come upstairs and build that shit. And so I hit up my friend because he said, you know, I love building stuff for you. So I was like, great, let me grant you this I'm Bob the Builder. I have a task and he had for an answer. you. I guess he's mad because I just came back from Houston, but. Why I mean, mad I still got this dresser. That's a whole nother conversation. I still got this dresser, and I told you it was going to be here today, and I'm going to Mexico tomorrow. I think it's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> oh, he was <laughs> mad about Houston. <laughs> I think it's hilarious how we can use our man, whether you're fucking the nigga or he's just a man friend, you can use him for things like that, but with your girlfriends, you got to come at it a different way. Like, Kiara cooks very well, right? I would, ne- If I was a nigga that could cook well, I'd be like, okay, like, can you just come over and cook? Mm-hmm. I would never like hit you mm-hmm. on some shit like because it would hit different girls. You're the only like, friend who doesn't do that to <laughs> me. Like, yeah, actually, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. So this whole time, this whole time I've been respecting be like, your crowd. Uh, uh, I'll come with the, to the grocery store with you, and then she'll split the groceries. <laughs> That's uh, her way. No, but still, even or, she has to approach it differently. With niggas, we're like, she'll be like, come uh, fix this cooking? and build it, and I'm not giving you money because because they are coming. Like, I might get some pussy. See. And just the just the opportunity to maybe get some pussy. You gotta remember these niggas stand in line for raffle tickets for the chance to get sneakers. <laughs> True. What They're all about doing? chance. Y'all know I like old niggas. The they niggas do it on their that. phones now. You don't have to always uh, go. Oh, on. this bitch is yeah. still dealing with the niggas. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're on their phones now. They, well, I got the app because <laughs> One th- one of these niggas was trying to get me to enter the raffle oh my so God. that he could resell the shoes. What and I is said, the bitch, raffle? I like getting money too. No, I'm not- I'll enter the raffle so I can resell the shit. <laughs> you what got brand? Adidas. And all kind of Adidas. Uh, everything. Jordans. What I've entered a raffle for a nigga. When I was dating dudes, I entered a raffle for a nigga. And How do you selected- enter? It's on the app. But do you, you have pay? Adidas confirmed? Well, you buy the shoe if yeah. you win. Uh, Automatically, the money comes. I'm wish. What? Yeah. That doesn't seem like a fun raffle. You don't get well, it for free. You have to pay no. for it. This is what men do But for they're fun. limited edition shoes. Like, they only make so many. So then that's why when you see the Yeezys on the resale sites for, like, $500 plus, it's because somebody won the raffle. They bought the shoes at the box price. And now they're reselling them to make a profit. It's so interesting that I don't even... Most of my shoes I haven't bought, like men buy them, and I don't even know that that's the process. Like with my Yeezys, like I wonder if he entered a rap. Well, you got little he feet, so probably not. I wear an eight and a half. I got a large foot. That's that's yeah. He might have large foot, but it's hard to get those. I wear the same. You could still wear the last kid shoe. So that's special. <laughs> oh no! Please don't go fuck a nigga now <laughs> no, because of what we just said simple. about the rap. It's <laughs> not delete that whole conversation from your memory because I I watched your eyes change <laughs> like. Oh, that's special. It's literally it's, the shoes Adidas confirmed pops up. It says the Yeezys, this color is coming out. What size do you want? You put it, you confirm the car, swipe, and then they'll text you on Saturday. Hey, you got the shoes now. It's way. quick and it's not special. <laughs> There's I, nothing special about it. No, listen to it. us because I, I can see, okay. I All see right. where you're going. No, I come back. My eyes got glazy and I just they turned did. it into that's the Disney like, princess. No. I was like, I'm going to suck his dick so good. Um, there needs to be a twinkle emoji when you guys make the video where you're like, that's special. Bring. I have to remember and that. And throws a shoe in my head. A Yeezy. <laughs> a Yeezy foam. I right just won head. this Yeezy. And I wake up and I'm like, fuck these niggas. Do y'all want, I feel like I already know your answer. Okay. Torn on yours. Do you want your man to fight for you physically? Do you what want do him you to think? walk up on an to Academy Award stage and slap a nigga in his face? To the death. I almost fucked Will Smith because of that. I don't even know him personally. I was, like, you what? I was like, can we hear about this? Was I, Jada there? I never met him, but, but I was like, that's the kind of shit that gets your dick sucked by a lesbian. Do you act, or your movie stopped on Netflix, do you want a, your nigga to actually physically like fight for you? And I'm if not talking to, about like you're about to die and he has well, to defend okay, you. Okay, let me tell you what happened one time. I was at you Pink Pony. You be getting niggas to fight. I can already tell. <laughs> <by the way. laughs> I was at Pink Pony one time, right? This is some years ago. <laughs> And this nigga was there. I was I was with the new guy that was really the old guy. All of that's beside the point. Anyway, the newest guy was talking shit to the guy I was actually there with. Like, oh, you know I took her on a date. He Ooh, just, you messy chatty hoe. I know. So then the other nigga just knocked his ass out. And Were you I like already that shit. all together? You just happened to no, see him. No, he at, just happened to be was there. Was it a rent? I didn't in the know. Hookah lounge? Was this a I was at Pink environment? Pony, the strip club. The, strip club. Okay, the strippers nice. were like, my God. Where's the money? Now this nigga knocked out. Go through his wallet. He ain't had no money. And that's why I didn't go on another date. And it's like, also, sir, why are you telling him this? I didn't know that y'all knew each other. Shut the fuck up. That is true. Why would he? Why would somebody do that? Because niggas are messy. Because he, I guess it was a pride thing. He was already going to get beat up. 
But I liked it. Hey, I could tell because when she sat back, he was already going to get beat up. Now, now she, she got riding. The in her eye. Now she riding for a nigga. I just need to know that you can do that. I don't really want you to be doing it all the time because who's not going to be bailing everybody out is me. Well, this, also, this, this the who's not going to be dying is me. Niggas is crazy now. You, did you hear about the girl? Well, I felt like shot. this guy was crazier than I was currently with. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was. It's always was it's really a game way. of chicken. See, she get it. You gotta know she's dated Bloods and Crips and she, she dresses <gasps> accordingly. You? No, oh. he was not a gay nigga. Oh wait, yes I, I did. Yeah, I, did. I know you did. <laughs> she, you I didn't even know you did. It. I know you did. I forgot about that. It was. A, I could see you with the Crip and she mm-hmm. had on a blue outfit. Remember, um, um, beep. Oh, mm-hmm. see, but that was more of a fun sex and thing. That was but the... I still like to do that. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun though. We went through like a gangster phase. <laughs> all right, he, he to all down. of our fallen niggas, we miss you. <laughs> yeah, and remember, <laughs> I don't know. Disgusting. If, I don't know if you remember this, but his group of friends. Remember when the certain brother got out of prison, and then yeah. the brother wanted me. To, he was like, he it was really all needs, around he the really same time. He really needs some pussy. We went through a ratchet. I was like, I'll be his pussy. First of all, I he was, was scared of the pussy. He was like, I've been in prison so long, I don't even know what to do. Remember, he talked about just show. got out of prison. Who? Oh yeah. Are y'all are y'all mailing up. the jail? Yeah. <laughs> Is there a newsletter? <laughs> Cocktails and then it was a brother's birthday, we, and we went to Central Station. We no, we went to the Ritz. The Ritz. The Ritz. And Not I the hotel. thought oh. I thought we were going to the Ritz Carlton, and they <laughs> laughed at my ass, and I was like, what? Fuck is this? It was a lot. We went through a very was, dangerous we ratchet were, stage in our lives, but we were like the girls where it was like, we came around and they knew we weren't supposed to be here. It was like golden. The attention that we received was like, oh my God, I yeah. feel like Beyonce came to the But hood. the day that they were breaking up the bricks of cocaine, I said, I cannot be here. I immediately was like, immediately no. My mom's going to be like, what happened? Why is my child's head blown to pieces See, I'm in the project? I would have been like, take a picture of me with no clothes on, <laughs> chopping it up. <laughs> Hey, bitch, you have taken this too far. You need to go to the library. Me and Hannah were too deep in there. I, I know they were seconds away from I remember one time me and Hannah were like, what if we just asked them to give us some product and let's see if we can sell it? What? And that's why like, <laughs> y'all, that's why y'all need to go. Way it's snowfall. Too far. It's snowfall, now you're traffickers. <laughs> and we were like, that <laughs> was gonna hat. And then she said product. <laughs> <laughs> but she asked for a product, not, not I the drug. Be a drug product. Product. so bad, but I want to be a bougie drug dealer. I don't want people to die. Why do we have to, why does someone have to want to come and take my position? Why why Girl, I don't like that. This is like, a drug why point. can't we just work? This, this like, why can't we all be nice? Why can't we have an You're HR to steal in place? My money. Uh, HR? Yes. The HR is the AR. They're going to pop you with. Ooh, that's a bar. You know? That's a hey, bar. Hey, that's how you know she be with criminal that's niggas. Next, <laughs> this bitch be with the felonious next studio niggas. Session we book, we in the studio, bitch. Yeah. She rapping. wants to be in the studio so, so bad. bad. I asked her, I was like, what do you think about doing a Patreon episode, a bonus episode where we actually we get somebody to ghost write us a song and we end that bitch rapping? You can do the drops. I, but why would you, let, why don't you write your verse first? I'm not writing my verse. I would like someone to write She's it. She's like, no, me. no, I have already decided I'm Cardi B. Yeah. So, Period. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> write my shit. Tell yeah, me how auto, to rap it. Put a little auto tune on it. And tell me how to get my cadence right. Yeah. I want it to sound right. Because I don't know if I want to do a duh, 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 duh. Or like, I want to be like a nasty stripper rapper. Uh, so you want to be like, bitch. spread my like booty Trina. hole and spit in it, nigga, and pay my rent. Like mm-hmm. that. Like that. That's I want to be more of like a Drake. Kind of like I want to sing a little bit and fall in love, but then be like, am I Drake pussy is a man. <laughs> <laughs> we talking about. What does that have to do? Big a woman Big type a woman. rapper. Uh uh-uh, uh, I wouldn't be like Drake. And that's why you can't be in the game. Oh, Medina, I meant to tell you. If you tell me you were with Drake and you didn't give him my phone number, Drake's going to jail, but what else? No, he's not. Drake is a criminal. He's not. <laughs> Everybody is. Drake you is. You should have all- came with me to Houston this weekend. Drake was at the club on Sunday. With a minor? No. <laughs> hey, Drake- well, I don't know. I didn't check out Exactly. Neither did he. Uh- <laughs> Please don't give me cancer. Now, y'all will not talk about my man like this. I'm really I'm not, not playing. Talking about when him. I'm just when reporting his surviving whereabouts. Drake comes Did you out, slide in my was he with a girl? Because yeah. I told him about that bringing bitches out. You didn't public. tell him anything. There was a gang of bitches. A gang? Oh my god! So I don't know who they were for. They was for Drake. You know they was for Drake. You think they was for the other niggas? Well, I don't know that he picked them. Were they black? Because I know his type. It was a plethora of women. They white, all they had asses. No, they weren't white. I don't think so. I mean. The you white know, girls, girls are, are getting frontals fishing. now yeah. and getting spray tan to look mulat. I don't like that. You need to be standing on the front lines as a light-skinned person. They're trying to come in as you. They're not coming in as me. They, they really can't are, beat though. me. And You're I'm like, good. No, hold on, bitch. You need to be out there like, I'm I sick am, of it. Yeah. Y'all because are, this is my lane. They're pretending to be, they're getting frontals to have baby hairs to pretend to be you. Um. 
I can't. I don't like it. I, I, my eyes are literally losing. <laughs> um, do you, this is really random, and I just want to know this from you guys. Do you trust your blackout self? I was having this thought Hell in the car. no. Oh, some, drunk Lawrence? Some people can trust their blackout selves, and they know that they're not going to do anything crazy. Maybe you'll eat bad, but you'll, that's it. Eat some bad? Of, some of us. Eat what? <laughs> crack. <laughs> blackout drunk Lauren is with whatever. Oh, yes, this is what I, I was realized thinking. that my blackout. This one, you know, you can't trust your blackout self when you wake up and you you're immediately embarrassed. You don't even know what happened. Yeah, but you, you know just opened your that eyes. You have done some shit. Whether it was a text, do you call? Do you text? Do you physically fight? What does your blackout self do? All of it. it don't, oh. I, we don't even drunk Lauren. Listen, what I can trust is drunk Lauren will get home or some somebody's home safely. You ever wake up and be like, how am I alive? And yes. you don't know how you got home? How did I get here? Where? First of all, where am I? Who is this? Whose surrounding. house is this? You'd be yeah. like, am okay. I still in my Medina's body? Or is this then like I check my body and my teeth to make sure I still have them. <laughs> I usually have bruises. I currently have several bruises up and down my legs, right? And you and don't then know if I, it's rape or I fell. <laughs> well, it probably will. If any, well, I'll, just, mm. um, I'll check my phone to see if I got any text messages if I'm alone. And I need to see where any videos sent. <laughs> Did you know how I get? And they usually Instagram come in by news. It, oh Instagram my, that's stories. That's the worst one. And you're like, God, okay, only 87 people saw it. But that's too many. It is yeah. too many. You're and like, then did I someone screen record? Then is I this going to pop up when I'm famous? how many famous? times was it shared? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> 87? <laughs> did you just share it to everybody <laughs> in the crowd? Do you ever be like, dang, I'm so irresponsible. My blackout self is so irresponsible, but responsible at the same time. I always have my purse. I know to have my purse, my, my phone. phone, and my glasses. I keep my phone. The first thing I look at for, my glasses. I, the first thing I look for is my glasses. I'll be like, did I lose my glasses? I'll be looking for my phone, and that's it. My and phone, I just and that's mean, it. I hope and then I, have I go the rest. to see if I have cussed anyone out. My my blackout self, I get mean. Like mm -hmm. I start cussing niggas out for no reason. It can be a niggas that stop fucking. Inside of you, you be wanting to cuss niggas out all the time, and you suppress it. So when you blacking out, drunk Medina's like, everybody steps to the back. I'm going to say all the things you ladies were too scared to Last say. Last night, I went off on a nigga uh, for no reason. I was like, would you even invite me to your funeral? This is what how, I'm saying. Your drunk you? lady is a white woman. And that's weird for me. <laughs> that's weird for me as a white woman. Um, I went in about, like, would I be invited to your funeral? I get real lovey-dovey. I be sending hard eyes and shit. I'm, That's before sometimes I, I get, get blackout. Nasty. When I'm blackout, No, it's... this is blackout, and then it's, like, <laughs> gibberish. Like, I don't know if I'm speaking what language. But like, what the fuck? But I be like, somewhere in there is I want to fuck you right now. Mixed in. With some other <laughs> stuff. And then I just hope I don't send no pictures. It's fun wow. being a girl, because, like, you could get sex trafficked at any moment, but, like, we've all done some dangerous shit. Like, oh, my definitely. God. Just on the sake of fun, like, just hopping in random cars in Miami. And, and that is actually crazy. That's insane to Even do. Even as a woman, I don't know if you guys have ever Googled the lawsuits against Uber. When you look at how many no, women No, we have get, not. Okay, y'all haven't? Uh -uh. No, okay. that's not. But tell that's, us more. What please, but that's not normal to do, but continue. Well, I did because drunk, you be getting in the Ubers drunk, and a some of them have taken advantage of the drunk women yeah. and you uh, to the point where they're still in your house when you wake up after being raped. Or you're in, you wake up in a in the woods. Send me some got, of these articles. I'm these seem to be weird sex stories. <laughs> I mean, it's what? actually crazy because when you think about how in many times house? you've been drunk and you get in an Uber, now they know where you live. They have your keys if you're that blackout drunk. I know. <laughs> I would never do that. Who will beat your ass? Girl, who is this Lyft driver in the kitchen? You and the kids gotta go. <laughs> Get out. She would Get be fed up after that. It's a wrap. You, you're getting kicked out. Well, honestly, if he was Christian, she would not be tripping. Are you Christian, baby? Oh, okay. <laughs> You were like, who is Ra Ramon? What are you doing? And he's like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You told me to stay. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't want to do that. She had a Lyft driver she thought was fine. And when they she dropped him off, she invited him in. And when she called me, I was like, the hoes don't even be smart hoes no more. Which is why I thought I was going to get into pimping. Because I was like, I could help hmm. people. Because I was so right, loose. You would be like the HR of pimping. Right. Because See? I was so loose with my pussy. I can help people. Okay. And I wouldn't be like Jocelyn because I would uplift my hoes. Jocelyn's mean. She's nasty and mean. Nasty like hey. She's not about to come beat me up. Yep. She be at my job all the time. Oh, please don't come. She's I have nothing to contribute. Mm -hmm. Listen. I wanna righty righty. Okay. I wanna write. Yeah, I wanna write. I wanna last write. I wanna write. I wanna write. I wanna write. <laughs> well, last two questions before we move on to Indecisive Diane. Actually, let's move on to Indecisive Diane when we come back. I'll ask y'all these questions. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's some indecisive. That's that inconsistent that shit that nigga was talking was on about. Brand. <laughs> that's what he was texting you about. Okay. She's like, why are you going back to that? He because- did invite me to his party. Should I go? Yes. Why okay. not? All right. Yeah. We we are on Operation Home Mission. Oh, we did are, you forget? You come, will y'all come with me? When is, Where it? is it? It's on the tenth. Oh. oh. Yeah, it's on the tenth. I won't be there. I'll be coming be in that morning. I Houston, probably okay. won't even be going. Houston right. or Mexico? Houston. Oh, okay. You're killing I'm it. going back. Yeah, I yeah. am. Um, we, yeah, yeah. we got a live show. We got a live show. I'm trying to get back. and got to get back to it. All right. Would you stop thinking about what everyone wants? Stop thinking about what I want, what he wants, what your parents want. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's- do you want? What do you want? <laughs> Hey ladies, it's me, Diane, and this week I have another Dallas gym. This place is called Kitchen and Cocktails, also known as True Kitchen. They have cocktails that they light on fire. They also have a dress code, so make sure you go to the website and look at it, because you might not get in. You also need to make a reservation when you come to this place. It's kind of bougie, you know, hoity-toity. Here's the address, 1933 Elm Street, Dallas, Texas. So we are back from Indecisive Diane, you guys, and it's time for the advice. If you have a question that you would like to ask us on the show, please email it to us, askcocktails at gmail.com. And if you're coming to the live show, whichever city, um, put it in the subject line if you want to ask the question at the show. Okay, before we get to advice, I want to know, since we were just talking about our blackout selves, do you Mm -hmm. guys think it's unattractive when your woman or dude gets sloppy drunk with you? Yeah, because who's going to take care of me? (laughs) Okay, so. Well, am I already drunk? No, you're not drunk. Like, let's say you go, you're all around on a date, and he is, he gets pissy drunk. He's- you know what? It depends. I do find it unattractive. However, I let that shit slide because it's usually me. And it's, as long exactly. as it's nine times me and one time you, I got you. But I hope your friend is here too because who's really gonna pick you up? Dating women, yeah, it's like, a where are you going? Easier. Cause yeah, we're gonna be stuck. Big drunk niggas, like that's a lot. Just physically, you getting sloppy drunk is like. Like, now I'm doing uh, the fucking ninja challenge. Mm-hmm. So, but with women, I would say, um, I don't, I give people so much bail when they're drunk because I've done so many drunken incidents. Mm-hmm. And I also hate when people pour liquor down somebody's throat and they be like, hey, drunk. Yeah. Yeah. You send it down their throat. Like, that's not it's right. Like, if every time my cup is empty, you you already have the other shot coming. What do you expect? Also, right. you're sipping here. your and wine. You we're drinking me wings. It. I'm noticing we be drinking, we be hooking, and you be over there. I need a sneak hookah right snipping. now. I'm, I was about to ask you how y'all have a on site with this nice stuff. Well, I think there's no smoking in here, and that will make noise. These are real plants. Are they? No. no. Absolutely. Not. I was, like, was going to let the viewers speak. Who waters that wall? <laughs> uh, damn, these bitches got a plant wall that's alive. Like, listen, I'm, a, yeah. I'm starting all kind of rumors about y'all that are good. Um, Thank you. Let's um, do it. What about you? What was the question? <laughs> do you do, I is think it it's a turn so off unatt- it's a turn off but like when you guys put it like that like I've definitely done some really drunk things one time I went on a hoe trip and I told all of the married men I got really drunk I was so embarrassed and I was when I woke up in the morning instantly embarrassed I told all the married men I was like yeah y'all niggas yeah y'all and I'm calling niggas niggas I That's was fine. like, and this this was a this was like a reputable crowd. They were like dapper <laughs> gentlemen, and I was like, y'all niggas would leave your motherfucking wives cheating. I said, y'all would leave for me if you get this. But I got real bold, and at first it was funny. And you know when stuff is funny at first when you're drunk, and then it's everyone's like, oh, funny to who? You're taking it. You. <laughs> who did the litmus test on the funny? Yeah. Cause she's like, it was funny at first. Nobody. I'm not hearing the. Anybody else? But I did I not. Were the text. wives there? Did they I laugh? Won't... No, the wives weren't there. Everyone was cheating. So you were just with a bunch of husbands. People were talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. And... Is a conference? <laughs> it was like a. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. <laughs> <laughs> But here's what happened. Everybody was talking about how like you would never leave like your wife for like a side chick. And I was like, it was a hoe trip. So there were like people there for the girls, for the guys. And then there were just bitches around. You know how hoe trips be. There's just bitches around. Anybody could get it. And so I was like, yeah, well, y'all, you never had this, but you would leave your wife. I mean, it was just so inappropriate. And every, I mean, the whole trip was inappropriate if you really look at it. So I was like, was I that inappropriate? But I woke up <laughs> with text messages from friends that weren't even there. And they were like, Medina, you need to calm down or you're going to get sent home. Imagine getting sent home on a hoe trip. Oh my God, I came here to fuck niggas and y'all are gonna send me home? <laughs> it was just entirely so. So if you get, I think if I was with a man and he got like that, I would probably not talk to him anymore. 
I hate when niggas know they worth. Like, that really upset me. Sent home. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, niggas, they must not have kids and have some money. They know that they're not like, I hate when niggas know they worth, bro. That's why we have to beat them down <laughs> mentally. <laughs> You're and we can never owner. let them. And they were right about some things. They we can never let <laughs> these niggas work. That's believe actually, in themselves because then they start shitting on the girls. <laughs> well, I've been trying to uplift these niggas, and I that's your you problem. Stop Drag them down. It. You were working against the ministry. You know what you should be doing. You should be what? beefing with mulatto. <laughs> Over I who's love the, her. Oh God! You do. I I'm love trying Big so Lotto. hard okay, I love to like her. her. I don't know what it is the that I don't. Dark skin girls really just don't be. Is that what it is? No, I've noticed. And then she did the song with Mariah. She dragged Mariah by the ankle into the studio. <laughs> Mariah wasn't doing shit. Mariah is bipolar. She didn't even know. She was manic. She didn't know. <laughs> They'd had a trail of cocaine and pills. Y'all not about to talk about my girl. <laughs> and they Mariah. She does. Dr- <laughs> they drizzled it like Mariah. <laughs> We don't yes. disrespect Mariah. That's her business. What'd you say about the people in the comment? Oh, and y'all, that was... Let me tell y'all something. Because we gonna dress. This ain't got shit to do with nothing. The last time I was here, imagine I'm so excited. I'm ago. watching the episode. I'm just going through the comments. It's giving cocaine. <laughs> Why she keep it. sniffling like that? How you know what cocaine give? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> I see the defense rest. Y'all did go in on Lauren. Don't do that again because now she's going to be at the live show. She might. And I will be pointing out all the cocaine users. Like, (laughs) please don't do that. I just have an allergy problem. (laughs) Everybody got allergies. That's why I sniffle. I love it. Okay. (laughs) That's what Nikki be saying with coke on her nose. My friend told me I can't try coke because I'll definitely not put it down. Yeah. (laughs) Most people don't. That's all I'll say. Can I tell you my first time doing cocaine? I will say the, the biggest thing was... That I and I think this is the way with a lot of girls. You just get tired of getting date raped, um, and so you're like, you know what? It's like an emergency escape hatch. Like I'm blackout drunk. I done did a line. I'm back. That's actually crazy. It's like a superhero power. Yeah. Uh, y'all, please don't try and convince okay, me. Okay, sorry. Right? I wasn't. <laughs> That's not what was happening. Oh, we gonna go. She said superpowers. She said superpowers. Okay, Wait you guys. A minute. We are gonna move on to the advice segment portion. Lauren is going to help she us give advice. She going right back to the crypt. I told you he died. Oh, that's right. Rest in peace. We talked about a lot of niggas that died today. Yeah. Uh, if you ain't got no dead niggas, though, did you even nigga fuck? Died. I'm that's still sad about the it. The first nigga that I fucked with that died, he he died of a cocaine overdose. And I was like, wow. was when, It wasn't coke, but... Yeah, it was fentanyl. But don't put that on cocaine, but it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. He was so much fun. Obviously. I think you were talking about He was about so him. much yeah, fun. Yeah, he, he would always pay for everything. He was an old, fat nigga. Doing coke? Doing coke. And I was, was fat? Like, yeah, and was fat. Isn't that weird? No, most of the usual was so, so much weight. I yeah. lost weight. That's when I was like, okay, are we an addict? There was a moment where so I was I like... Took, I took time. Yeah, I was like, we're going to take time to ourselves. Yeah. Ourself Good thing you're, you have self-awareness. Yeah, I was like, wow. you're. Well, it wasn't even just self-awareness. When people are saying things like, are you good? It's time to stop. <laughs> That's when you're <laughs> Make like, you be like, no. <laughs> That's why them but comments make you so mad. <laughs> I was like, how does everybody know? <laughs> Okay, the first advice one a letter is uh, titled, How Do I Pick? <clears throat> mm. So I first want to start out by saying I just started listening to the podcast last week and I've binged like 20 episodes. I mm. love everything, especially the bluntness. And after listening, I thought that there was no one better to bring my current predicament to. Perfect. My name is Colby. I'm 21 years old, a fresh 21, just turned 21 in March. You think it's a porno? <laughs> My freshman year of college was 2019 to 2020 when COVID broke out, in all caps. So needless to say, I was discouraged with attending <clears throat> and decided to make a complete career change and go from majoring in pre-law to attending cosmetology school with a focus in aesthetics. That's a major... Not a declining quality of life, but in check. income. Yeah, well, that's the income. You know, you income. never know. These the bitches is out here charging five hundred dollars. Everybody a face. wants gay niggas to do their hair, <clears throat> and a gay nigga does do my hair actually. Not me. Okay. <laughs> I power. support the girls. Okay, I don't know about this bitch. <laughs> Since dropping out of college, January twenty twenty one, she loves dates. Uh, or he. Because she's 21. <clears throat> I had been working multiple jobs up until school began in November. And I am currently in my last month and uh, in the month and a half roughly of school. So now that the backstory is over, let's get into this shit. Finally. I'm currently in the process of choosing between the man I've been with forever and the literal nigga of my dreams. Well, wait a minute. 
explain it. <laughs> Wait, I, it's two different niggas? <laughs> the nigga of your dreams. Why is he the nigga? I just <laughs> He's probably <laughs> a gangbanger. Come, come on, stand up for the blacks. I, just... I have been with the same boy sexually and romantically since, I'll say, roughly 11th grade. Let's call him Break AD. Up with him. Yeah, that's lame. <laughs> when I came home from college in 2020, AD basically, why we need the year? Because she's young she and she wants timeline. us to know. That's how you know this bitch really in 21. I'm I'm industry age 25 and I put a lot of dates to things. I don't okay. really do age. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> AD basically moved in. We were together so much. Then he acts, Then he actually moves in with me and my mother and sister due to him and his mother bumping heads over his choice of career. Oh, selling hell weed. No. What? Selling career. weed. I'm screaming at career. <laughs> and mind you, I'm like 19 at the time. So what the fuck was my mama thinking? What was your mama thinking? Like, I previously stated... <clears throat> I dropped out of college in January 2021 and was literally ass out, had no fucking idea what I was going to do. AD drove me to work for about four months until I got a car of my own. I loved this boy to death, honestly. But we have many, uh, many, many issues that have been present since the very start. And it would take all day to elaborate on them all. Mm -hmm. But the demise of our relationship stems around him having trust issues. I have never been seriously... I've never been Broke serious. Broke niggas do not be trusting, boy. When you ain't got no money. Because you need a plan. You know your bitch can leave. <laughs> I have point. never been seriously unfaithful, but at my previous <laughs> job, <laughs> I flirted with an older man. He was in his 30s. That's not older. You I was, man! <laughs> I was about 19 or 20. And it was honestly on some I am just bored at work shit and playing with his old ass with this old ass man. He didn't have sex. We didn't have sex or anything like that. Didn't touch each other. And I've never even seen him outside of work. But he did kiss me a few times at work. She lying. AD went through my phone, saw <laughs> messages last year in February. Nothing sexual or romantic was said. And since he has just been milking it, in my opinion, like we have been discussing the nigga for longer than I even know, longer than I even knew him. And I don't have an explanation for why I fucked with that old ass nigga. Besides the <gasps> fact that at this point I was washing AD's clothes, cooking him food, making his plate and bringing it to him while he played the game. And he didn't <laughs> even take me on <laughs> dates or give me flowers or do anything besides fuck, smoke and play the fucking game. That don't sound like the new slaves <laughs> you the new slave like, he yeah. has also only made me but come hey. maybe a handful of times since i have known him by no means was he perfect never has been and Clearly. how could i complain i was relying <laughs> on him <laughs> I she, have a... pick yourself up off the ground <laughs> she's how below the complain? ground she is below the ground i want to give you a hug <laughs> i was relying Get on up. him to make my money literally I was running on him to make my money, literally. From huh? a ride to work? Didn't they have Uber in 2019? But see, no, no, no. But see what yes. happens when she had That's a, just a couple she years also, ago. This is two broke people. But look what bitches will do when they need a ride. Your sister can't <laughs> give you a ride? You don't have to wash Uber. clothes. Uber! She's acting like this is 19. She doesn't have any money, babe. Maybe and you, you don't get live that somewhere with email. Uber. She can't apply for Maybe unemployment. Maybe they don't live nowhere babe. with it. Because some places still don't have it. I will say that. Yeah, unemployed. She's employed. She's employed. Oh, well, you could jug the system. I could go on and on with what? stories and more details because I feel like I'm leaving out so much. But to wrap this shit up, me and AD have been at odds basically since February of 2021 and officially ended things this past December after being in this in this weird together but not together. We it hate each weird. other but then sleep together <laughs> the same night state. Since then, I will admit that we still have sex and hang out often, but I finally put my foot down mm. with letting him know I couldn't keep being being in this toxic relationship with him we need to make a choice are we working on us or are we just gonna be friends he initially chose friendship but after <laughs> watch all them draws for your friend he chose friendship but after y'all she put her foot down but after a <laughs> week or two showed up at my house this past weekend stating that he wants to start over from scratch Homeless. with him uh, yes. with him he Giving loves me all problems. that other good stuff yeah. enter CJ the man of my fucking dreams I know Excuse him me. I've known him since 2018 <laughs> personally but it was never in uh, any way besides being sort of cool just cordial he is extremely popular in my city and baby I am from the city of Detroit fucking Michigan somehow everyone knows him and never has anything <laughs> negative to say but at the same time this is so long okay I'm almost done never has anything negative to say but at the same time he's he stays to himself he is so low-key so he e so he even lives in a different country currently, and he's only a few years. So you're so low key. He don't live in America. 
<laughs> what are we saying? You're what? going to Mexico, keeping it low key. He's only a few <laughs> years older than me. Nigga owns a business. Oh. Nigga trying to help me get established in my business regarding finding a suite, offering my funding, and our families know each other. This is given last he time. wants to take me out of town. He was he was to do so much with me. He wants to do so much with me. It's like this man is in my fucking mind when we talk. He's so on his shit. He's so different from what I'm used to. It's a I nigga f- with a job. <laughs> She's so impressed. <laughs> That's actually what it is. That's all it is. I feel that he is too much for me and I'm going to fumble him. Like I'm terrified to fuck him because I feel so inexperienced to be around him because he just be on some grown man shit. Just anything this man is do, to, does is too much for me. So I guess my question is, should I say fuck it and try again with my ex? Is this really the question who you I have so much love for because there is so much history there? Or should I try it with this man who scares the shit out of me in an exciting good way? I just don't want to feel like I'm on ho shit for abandoning my ex like am I really into co or is he is oh, am I really into CJ or is he just like a shiny new toy cause I'm two seconds from putting that code to use getting the toy and xing both of them <laughs> niggas out cause I'm stressed sincerely a confused bitch sent from my iPhone I'm sorry not to disrespect what she's going through I'm on baller alert okay you are <laughs> girl yes wait why from I, I, yes oh my god Bitch, I well, this them. episode might need to go up sooner. <laughs> it might need to, this actually might be episode two. And Ramadan. I'm sorry, the going. first comment I see is guilty. <laughs> so Lauren was at a comedy show for a little backstory. Okay. Uh, and her and T I got into an argument. And I wasn't gonna say nothing about it, but it's on baller alert now, bitch. <laughs> um Okay. <laughs> All right. She really trying to put that hair behind her ear. No, this girl, um, you've never fucked a nigga with money before, so it's <laughs> it's shocking and it's jarring. I remember when I had never fucked a nigga with money before. I and, remember and that too. Nigga bought me shrimps and stuff, and I was just shook in my boots. <laughs> Couldn't wait to just fall in love with him. He won't be your last nigga with money. He won't even be your only nigga with money. Believe in that pussy. Leave the weed man alone. Yeah, like you're his slave. <laughs> you're doing all of this stuff for him and then saying that you shouldn't be able to complain. But this email is a complaint, a formal complaint. This is a formal complaint. It's almost like when a lot, when people. Not like, Funky Dineva commenting on this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Lauren cannot get over. <laughs> so that was your. Uh, I made it. You need to break up with him. Leave him alone. Have a go with this new guy. This probably ain't going to work out. So just do what you can while you can. And you, you don't can. even owe him an explanation, sis. You, you don't. don't know Tell what him, it feels you know like to be whining and dined and it's uncomfortable for you experience it from this old nigga even if you don't like him just experience it take what he's giving you do the things go on to dinner that's how he treats you nice because it really sounds like you're not used to it and probably your friends or people around you aren't really used to it either don't be scared about it like just just see what happens and leave this one that whole loyalty shit get that out of your mind because you didn't put it in the email but I know it's somewhere in the back of your head because you kept talking about how long y'all had been together yeah that'll have you broke sad and pregnant bitch move the fuck on that sounds uncomfortable All right. Big dick, bad breath. This one's short. It says, hey, ladies. Um, love what? Sh- <laughs> That's the subject line. <laughs> oh, that got you. <laughs> um, love this show and y'all's personal growth. I love to see it. I'm going to hop straight into it. So me and this guy, let's call him Miguel. I've been seeing each other ever since this uh, past November and everything has been going great so far up until we started hanging out frequently. One night he came over and I was ready to get my back bent in, but he got into my bed and immediately I smelled an awful smell. I tried to play it off like I was laying on his shoulder to smell him because I thought maybe he's been outside for too long. And that's um, and that's what he smells like. LOL. Absolutely not. That was his breath. Child, I was turned off from the two days we spent together where we didn't even kiss nor have sex. I'm not the type of person to call out people on hygiene unless it's a a, a occurring, I guess you meant reoccurring thing. Um, but this was fir- the first time it smelled that bad. I wanted to know if you ladies have any advice on how to bring up personal hygiene in a cute but <laughs> I, I, nigga way. Um, I would want someone to tell me but not be so aggressive to where I get offended and be ready to smack a motherfucker. Any advice would help. Best regards, straight back pussy. I dealt with this before with dealing with a man who had very bad breath. Mm-hmm. And I, I was didn't... Was it the tongue? Or it tooth? was like, you have something going on. You need to go to the dentist. Like, there's a medical disorder. Halitosis is a medical disorder. It smelled like little people were at the back of his throat doing a, a stomp the yard step routine. Just stomping with shit boots. 
So I was mad because I don't understand how you don't know that your breath stinks. I know when my breath stinks. I do too. It gets hot in it, your face. Well, yeah, and especially <laughs> the neck is hot. Like when you're when your breath stinks, especially everything when we were here is those hot. Masks. Especially when I, and, and the mask was like a real wake up call for a lot of us because I it was sometimes when I put my mask, I'll be like, oh, "Is that how my breath smells like?" Good enough. Yeah, or like I need to eat something. Mm -hmm. But if it's not a you need to eat something I'm stink thirsty. and it's like a medical condition, the how I dealt with it, it wasn't nice because your breath stinks. There's nothing nice about this, <laughs> and I don't. I shouldn't endure this. What I said was because I tried to drop hints. He never wanted to take the hints. So what I ended up saying was, "Hey, listen, your breath smells like poop." <laughs> And something has got to be done about it. I I, I, I I can't handle this anymore. And I mean, he was like, wow, it's that bad. Because you need to know the extremities. Bitch that um, something needs to be done. <laughs> something needs to happen. Well, this is ridiculous. You don't smell that? Or feel it. And I'm okay. dating you and I'm bringing you around, niggas. And, <laughs> and everybody's looking. Like, I mean, we They're stopped smelling. kissing. And he was like, why don't we kiss anymore? Your breath stinks. This isn't fair. <laughs> I'm well, sorry, somebody just told me T.I. was sending shooters my way. He, this is well, going to be really great for they your only career. Showed, I'm glad they we only got showed you. that half of the video where he was yelling at me. They don't have the other half of the video, but somebody just messaged me that they, Are you tagged? Tagged? that they sent that to Baller Alert. No, they're going to tag me in the response. Okay, what should she say about Stanky um, Bread? Um, you know, the thing about it is, remove yourself. Because I'm not about to, it's certain shit, it's a whole bunch of shit. I'm dealing with rap beef. I don't have time to tell you the basics. It's like we too grown for certain things. Like at a certain point in my life where people are like financially disenfranchised, I'll, I'll provide, you know, a deodorant, a brush, mm -hmm. you know, a toothbrush, whatever the case may be. But as an adult, like it's like even when I try vegan deodorant. I can't do I it. I was musty. You're walking around smelling like a little pony. Put went, some real deodorant I on. I went home because they. I was like, I'm, I'm not going to be out musty because I'm grown. I'm too old to experiment with deodorant. Mm -hmm. Give me the shit with the aluminum. So for people with breath issues, <laughs> it just, what did Jocelyn say? That shit can fuck with your brain. Yeah. <laughs> you fuck around and die. You could have an aneurysm. You could have a heart attack. It, you need to floss. I was going to say, this is a, a simple way to do it if you're still on the, um, I don't want to hurt your feelings too bad. Say, hey. I'm looking for a new dentist. Who do you go to? And when he gets stuck, you like, you haven't been to the dentist? And then you can bring it up that way because he should have an answer. See, that's really nice. I just feel like with no Brett, got insurance. if it's that bad that you're writing yeah. in a letter, you got to just drop it like it's hot. I would leave him alone. Yeah, or stop to talking. I can't deal with stanky breath. I would leave. Yeah. It's this like, is just, and then we supposed to kiss? And we're we supposed can't. to kiss. I literally, I, can't. I, I literally and then even when they lick your neck, now my neck Now stink. my neck is, and people ask me why I stink. And when people have that bad breath, it smells like something's burning in your mouth. <laughs> There's a lot of different versions of bad breath, but it sticks. It's people Whatever that never is, floss have, have the hot one. Or if, if you're you, in the car with somebody and the windows are up and their breath has taken over the whole vehicle. If I can smell your breath in a car. Or somebody buy an apple after you. I don't share my apples. <laughs> That's a weird food to share. Yeah, why would you share that? <laughs> All of a sudden, everybody's bougie. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. If I want fuck 'em, gon' fuck 'em. But if you ain't got a buck, I won't cuff 'em. Spend a hundred on me, it ain't nothing. Money double piece, so stuff. Back to the point. Is it some cash in this place? If it is, I'll probably stick the stash in your face. Turn around. Once upon a time, not long ago, I was a hoe. <laughs> okay, you guys. Apple, All you right. like the fuck? <laughs> on that note, we're moving on to the cocktails. I'm not gonna lie, we only have room for one cocktail right now because we got to record hers. another episode of this. Lauren, share your cocktail. Okay, my people. cocktail is gonna be called the Baller Alert, and um, <laughs> it is just a glass of tequila with a little lime and salt it's not around, a drink. around, this is around the TIP. This, this is the story. You shared the story about the nigga with the gun. Oh, the gun nigga. Yeah, the gun nigga. I see how you poured the rest of it into your cup. <laughs> Because you can't focus. You're stuck on Baller Alert. I have ADHD. Alert. Yeah. Go ahead. So this is the story called Baller Alert. Um, if you guys see me on there. And also, I would like to speak to all the bitches in the comments defending T.I. Okay. Niggas are starting me with guns. Okay. So guns. <laughs> Speaking of guns. Um, I had sex with a, a heavy set man. Uh, this was, he was a get money fat. And... Um, Nothing wrong with that. that look, mm -hmm. your type. <laughs> so <laughs> bad, bad. <laughs> he um he asked me. He was like, you know, I want to role play, and I want to put my gun to your head. He said all of this while he already had his gun out, um, and he was on ecstasy. I was on ecstasy, so I was like, okay, I guess you know we're acting because, you know, 
when somebody's gun is out and they're talking about putting it to your head, it's I'm already, going home. you know, but are you? Because you're going to do what you're told. Yeah, I know I would. Uh, this I'd is be a stick up. Oh. This is a motherfucking stick up. So uh, we get on the air mattress and um, he has his gun to my head. And this is rock bottom, you know. Why do you have a gun on the air mattress? That just sounds heavy. No, the gun was to me. Uh, uh, the gun was definitely to me, uh-huh. which was nerve wracking because I was like, um, what if he shoots me? What if he just fucks? And it was like, ha, big joker. I was going to kill you the whole time. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that would be devastating to die on an air mattress, you know? Um, so I will say a shamefully though, my adrenaline was pumping. Pussy was soaking. And I don't even, I used to think I was dry because I didn't uh-huh. get that wet, but I'm gay. So that's what was wrong. <laughs> it was the man. But um, just being there, yeah. he, I was soaked, you know, maybe a little pee, maybe some little tears, <laughs> maybe pussy wetness. But I was, it was some of the best pussy moist. I ever gave up. It uh-huh. was the moistest. And um, we had sex and he removed his gun from my head and he took three Xanax and fell asleep. And I waited until he passed out to grab my stuff and creep out of there. Oh, you were actually scared. Yeah. Not once he went to sleep. I wasn't scared anymore. But I wanted him to know that, like, the way you didn't ask me, like, if he wouldn't ask me with no gun out, we could have had a rapport. But he was like, I want to role play and put my <laughs> gun in your head. And I'm like, OK, OK, OK. Taking off my panties. Be cool. Be cool. So um, also, these people in the comments are telling me I can't make jokes about rape. Bitch, I was held at gunpoint. So I can make jokes about whatever the fuck I want. Y'all defend Dave Chappelle, Chris Tucker, and everybody else when they say whatever they want about women, gays, what, whatever the fuck. But all of a sudden, I say something about this grown-ass man who had allegations. I did not make that up. I didn't even allege anything. Mm-hmm. So that you guys know what she's talking about, share your Instagram There's a blend. with them. Let okay. them know where they can find you. My Instagram is she's Lauren K. If you guys want to see the haps with what's going on with... T.I., niggas with guns, or just this good, tremendous, fat pussy. You can find <laughs> it. look too fat to me. It looks little. <laughs> Yo, pussy little. Don't ever say that was the most disrespectful shit. Medina done took a little couple sips of wine, and now me. That's why she had to drink slow. Comedians are calling me. Okay, okay, tell them where they can find you. Oh, y'all can find me, though, on the streets, period. But you can <laughs> She's what Lauren K. Y'all can Instagram. find me at the live show, but yes. you can find me on Instagram at she's Lauren K. Everything is she's Lauren K because we do cross cross uh, promotional. Mm-hmm. Make sure you guys follow Thank Lauren. You. She is to me in my eyes the dopest comedian. I'm glad we got her before she blows the fuck up because it's happening since I've been following your career and I fucking love you. She's hosting the live show. Get your tickets. Atlanta is sold out, but come to Charlotte. Come to New York. <laughs> come to Philly. Let's she's do this hosting thing. this show, but you can't come. If you yeah, get <laughs> Sorry, y'all you need to out. stop playing. Stop playing with. That's what I keep saying. Thought. Stop waiting to the last they minute. They think I was going to sell out how y'all going to sell out? Right. They didn't. And if you don't they know your us. schedule yet, you're better off buying the tickets and then you can just re- <laughs> you can resell yeah, them. You can resell Somebody's going to buy them. You're like, going to be such a good soccer mom. Yeah, I am. I am. I'm going to bring little tuna sandwiches, cut the crust off. Tuna? Oh, hell cut. no. Bitch, don't nobody want no hot ass tuna. <laughs> hell no. That's disgusting. Y'all, you're please, disgusting. Please go to I'mCuriousToKnow.com and order your game. Yes. It's really fun. I played it with some friends over the phone even. And we had a good time. You do a lot of stuff over the phone i do <laughs> on that phone. i do i love this shit it's right here in my lap um and then make sure you go to patreon.com slash cocktails and then click the links in the description box or instagram bio wherever you're looking at this so that you can get tickets to the shows and keep up with everything that's going on yeah make sure you follow us on instagram the page is at cocktails podcast mm-hmm. i'm at coffee bean dean and i'm at kiki said so okay. until next week you guys goodbye, goodbye. i'm sorry but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Wait on the track. Wait on the track. 
I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.